please subscribe. It's been a long time since Volvo first revealed the V90 cart, yet damn if seeing one in my carport doesn't make me somewhat powerless in the knees. Perhaps it's the bursting blue paint. Perhaps it's the R design styling changes. All I know is, whoever said not to pass judgment flippantly obviously hadn't looked at the Volvo V90. The R design is set off by a marginally extraordinary lower front sash and these five talked, 20 inch wheels, yet even the standard V90 looks attractive as hell. The low, wide position and long profile are for the most part incredible, just like the short front shade, in addition to the LED lighting components and liberal scramble to pivot proportion. It's a structure that is both striking and present day however will doubtlessly age well. I wouldn't modify anything. That long roof shape fits utility, as well. Crease the back seats level and the V90 offers 53.9 cubic feet of freight space, which is about equivalent to a minimal SUV. In fact, while traveler space is similarly liberal, that short by and large tallness implies headroom can be an issue for taller travelers, particularly in the back. In any event the R design comes standard with an all-encompassing sunroof, to cause the lodge to feel as open and breezy as could reasonably be expected, which is particularly welcome given my analyzer's all-dark upholstery plot. In advance, the driver and traveler are blessed to receive super comfortable, super steady seats. Each and every piece of the V90's inside is as ideal to take a gander at all things considered to contact, with delicate cowhide wrapping the dashboard and guiding haggle quality plastics on the entryway cards and focus comfort. I could manage without the wealth of piano dark trim around the shifter and cup holders, as it gets exceptionally dusty effectively, however it's a little grievance about an in any case flawless lodge. Indeed, even the carbon fiber trim looks extraordinary. Volvo Census programming handles infotainment obligations, masterminded on a 9-inch, picture-situated screen. I've had an adoration slash abhor relationship with Census throughout the years and my experience keeps on being all in or all out. Regardless of including handling power, the V90's framework is regularly delayed to react to orders at startup, however once it gets moving, those issues disappear. I like that both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard yet can be consigned to the base tile of the home screen in order to not assume control over the whole interface. What I don't care for, nonetheless, is that a portion of the hot focus is to get to pages like the settings menu are somewhat little and simple to flub while driving. Swiping left or right uncovers various menus for various things, yet while the expectation to absorb information is marginally steep, when you become acquainted with Census, it offers an abundance of usefulness. A computerized check group is standard and, while I welcome the moderate way to deal with what data is taken care of to the driver, the screen isn't as highlight-rich as what you'll discover in Audi, BMW or Mercedes-Benz items. All things considered, where Volvo truly raises the stakes contrasted with the German rivalry is its standard degree of dynamic driver help tech. Programmed crisis slowing down with walker recognition, a driver-ready screen, vulnerable side checking, cross-traffic alert, versatile voyage control, street sign data and Volvo's pilot assist tech, which includes directing help for through-way driving, are for the most part standard on the V90. Volvo offers its T5 and T6 motors here, which you'll discover in essentially all of the organization's different models. The T5 comprises of a 2.0-liter turbo i4 with 250 strength and 258 pound-feet of force, while the T6, which is the thing that I have here, adds a supercharger to the blend, bringing about 316 horsepower and 295 pounds to foot strangely. The less amazing T5 conveys its full force push at only 1,500 revolutions per minute while the T6 takes an extra 700 revolutions per minute to construct help, and truly, Given the V90's moderately loosened up mean, except if you're tied in with boasting rights, the T5 appears the best approach. Saying this doesn't imply that the T6 is definitely not an extraordinary motor. It gives heaps of intensity and, regardless of having a turbocharger and supercharger accomplishing work in the engine, in general activity is rich smooth. The 8-speed program transmission is indistinct in its activity and T6 models come standard with all-wheel drive for included foul climate footing. In the event that you stay with the T5, you're secured in front-wheel drive, however that is not really an issue a decent arrangement of winter tires can explain. In addition, if it's rough, go any place capacity you're after, might I propose the V90 Cross Country? Indeed, even with the additional force and extra determined wheels, the T6 arrangement isn't substantially less proficient than the T5. The EPA says a V90 T5 with front-wheel travel should return 22 miles for every gallon in the city 
33 miles per gallon interstate and 26 miles per gallon consolidated, while the T6AWD brings down those numbers to 21, 31 and 25, individually. Following 7 days of blended driving, I recorded 24 miles per gallon. Out and about, the V90 doesn't generally constrain you to drive it hard. The guiding has pleasant weight, however feels somewhat numb. The V90 doesn't despise being tossed into a corner and the case makes a decent showing of moderating body move on winding streets. Lamentably, the 20-inch Haggles profile feels worn out on this R design analyzer make for a regularly weak ride on Los Angeles bad turnpikes. All things considered, I truly like driving the V90. It's simply simple. There's extraordinary perceivability out the front and an individual driving mode permits you to tailor things like the choke, controlling and even the brakes exactly as you would prefer. By and by, I want to leave it all in comfort, since that is the place the V90 truly sparkles. The R design unit may look energetic, however the V90 is a simple desit kind of cruiser that will cheerfully flow through many miles one after another. In any case, stop and think for a minute, you need to truly need a V90 to get one. This cart stays a request just issue, which means sellers don't have them promptly in stock, rather concentrating their endeavors on the higher riding V90 cross country. At $53,090 to begin, including $995 for goal, the V90 D5 FWD speaks to a $3,090 deal over the least expensive cross country, which must be had in T6 AWD pretense. What's more, in case you're extremely hot on a Volvo cart, there's additionally the $40,645 V60, which is somewhat littler however utilizes similar motors. Remember about the $46,095 V60 cross country, either. Choices, choices. The 2020 Volvo V90 is agreeable, utilitarian and really ideal to drive, and let's remember the importance of the innate restrictiveness, read, cool factor, of a unique request just vehicle. The individuals who do put forth the additional attempt to search one out without a doubt won't be baffled. The structure alone makes it a champion.